Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Play NES. I'm Josh from Offhand Games and in this episode we play Shinjin, the ruler. It's a pretty badass intro here. Nineteen ninety by Hot B Company. Let's take a look. I will go ahead and leave the sound on. <laughs> you turn the sound off. Take a trip way back to the year fifteen forty-five. I'm not sure what's going on on the screen right now. It's a little overwhelming at first. How many occupied regions do you give orders to? Uh, let's just go ahead and say one. And which region? I can't choose any other one other than this blinking gray one here, so we'll go with that one. Perhaps you have to have that one. What's the order? Well, I don't have an instruction manual, so we're going to have to figure this one out. Um, military? What's your order for the army? Enlist, going, move. Enlist! We can afford to enlist seven corps. How many? Well, let's do what we can afford. Yes. Nice. Okay. And we didn't lose any loyalty. Uncle Sam wants you. So let's see what we have here. How much? Okay. So, farming. Let's go ahead and do development. I don't know. Ten? Yes? I'm sorry for no progress. That's okay. I wish I knew his name. Okay. So maybe a year passed or something. Maybe not. Okay, it's a month. A month passed. Um, how many do I give orders to? Just one. Just my one. We're still going to try to figure out what all these orders do. So we can't move because of snowfall. It's okay. It's February. It's totally understandable. We're going to figure out uh, you know, what else is going on. Bad news. A riot? With my people? Aw. It's a good thing I got seven military out of it. What do we have here? FC. I don't know. GM? What should we do? Dig, produce... Maybe that's, um, gems? Let's go ahead and dig. Ten. No progress. Alright, AL. Can't have an alliance without a princess. Alright. Merchant. Uh... What do we have? We have 150 for money. What will you buy this month? I really can't tell what any of these are. It's either trial and error or you'd have to have an instruction manual for this. I'm gonna buy purred. I want one purred. Yes. Thank you for buying and farewell. Another land has a strategy. They all get to take their turns. We're producing. So seems. I'm just gonna keep picking my my main region, my base. Okay, doctor, I'm assuming. I'm the doctor. What can I do? Uh, help my people not get sick. I want to quit picking 10 because there's never any progress when I pick 10. H-E. So we can't let the occupied region do that. N-J. Oh, a ninja. Well, I want you to cause a crisis. For three. Yes. Which region? My neighbor that I'm going to attack, of course. Way over here in the east. I'm sorry for no progress. No one ever has any progress! I'm going to use all of these before I, before I attack to see if I can get the best idea of what each of these commands does. I mean, there are a couple that don't tell me right off the bat and I don't want to do them if I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, what is SV? Save? Sure, we'll save. We saved it without failing! Are you sure we could pass? No, I don't want to pass. Thank you for asking me for sure. Our military is going to move. What is going? To move. Where will you move to? Oh, okay, so that's just. Move is just. moving to another city. We're gonna go? 
There we go. Where will you attack? Of course our neighbors to the east. Those jerks. They've been playing their music way too loud. What? Okay, apparently we can only attack to the south. If I'd have known that, I'd have sent my ninja to the south. But he didn't really do anything anyway. <clears throat> Let's see, who looks like the biggest chump? We will attack right here. Surugamoto Imagawa. Sir, tell us the number of cores leaving. This many. All of them. Wait, no, no, no. Wait. Okay, so I hit B. Took me back. I think I have to actually change the number zero up to the one that I want to attack, so... Nope, nope. There we go. Still attacking that guy. We're gonna take everybody, because after this battle... We had better live in that new zone. Because I'm sadistic like that. Just, we're not going to leave anybody behind to defend. Our farmers, they have pitchforks. They can defend themselves. Lancers. Infantry. There we go. Sir, stay. That's it, right? Okay, start. Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Manual battle or automatic battle? We'll go with a manual battle for this one. Automatic battles are for when the PC is is playing. Sir, give us all your division order for attack. Well, um, I guess all of them. This might be folly. But I never... Oh, okay, so this one we can split up into two groups. We'll split it up into two groups of... 23 and 22. You know, with these games, when I go for a quick play, I don't... <clears throat> I don't have any other goal other than to have fun with their combat system, so... So we're splitting these up pretty evenly. Oh, well, let's see, 20... 15... 35, so that leaves us with 17. All right. We only get 20 turns. Okay, so let's go ahead and just move these guys as far as we can. Well, they have a little bit of a different... I don't want to rush. Okay, there we go. Wait. I'm gonna get a, an idea for the controls, but already I kind of like how they've applied actual character movement to the strategy of this game it's much more a early it's much more an early tactics game as opposed to just being called like a strategy sim from the looks of it so far and all you have to do to achieve that is have animated characters <clears throat> run forward on a map no I accidentally chose rush let's go move there we go yeah, all you have to do is have your individual characters moving forward on a map and not have tiles with numbers on them instead. And you end up with a a tactics game. Of course, these are much slower. You can't go through each other. You have to go around each other. Of course, the, the uh, horseback riders can move farther. I'm going to kind of go for a spread pattern here. Try to flank anybody that comes down at me. You have to hit A after you move. So here I'm hitting A. Move. And then once you move your full extent, you have to hit A again in order to end that movement phase. You might be able to hit B to take some of it back. I don't know. But I find myself losing a couple seconds here and there by forgetting to hit A at the end of my move. Ah! down a little bit on that one on accident. Let's move him up. There we go. Let's see what the opponent does. <clears throat> we are finished. Doesn't sound very good. Of course, they are the swamp people. Oh, they have archers. I didn't notice if I had archers. I mean, I suppose I had every type of unit. 
that particular guy stands out. It's an archer. Not sure what that unit is. Oh, it's a horseman. Action pack music. So that's not too bad to listen to when going through a turn based game like this. You know, we've definitely played some quiet games, and music can do a lot to add to your patience. As I've said many times in, in the many strategy games that we've played so far, you have to have patience for these. Now that I know exactly where they're at, I mean, I suppose I could have looked in the first place, we're going to move more to the east with this turn. In fact, I'm probably just going to move completely to the east with everyone. Move. I wish there was a faster way to select to move, but... Que sera, sera. Run. Yeah, I have some archers. I didn't even really look at them before. It's like, those are just guys. Kind of looking tubby there with the armor on. I also find myself uh, pressing A again, but right when the menu is loading and accidentally choosing rush, it would be better, I think, to have weight at the top of the menu. Then again, I suppose they don't want you to accidentally choose weight before you move, so... Perhaps that was play-tested out. Man, when they move sideways... See, there I go again. Accidentally chose rush. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to, to rush right after you move anyway. You would think that you'd be low on energy. We're gonna move east and up some with this guy. Ooh, okay. Our cavalry's gonna definitely come into contact with them first unless we hold them back. We're already 12 minutes into the video, and we haven't even seen any direct combat yet. Alright, almost done. Just a couple more guys here. Certainly want to move the front lines in first. Because you can't move through each other. There we go. And we wait. We finished. Perhaps on my next turn we can engage someone in combat. Very close. Come on down through the bushes. Through the tall grass. And unlike, Le <laughs> unlike League of Legends, I can see you when you're there. It isn't magic Heidi grass. Are you guys just gonna... Stand back. That's fine. No, no, that's fine. Oh, we're just gonna hide behind each other. Everyone just skipping their turn. We only get we only get twenty turns, you know, after that everyone has to honorably quit. Okay, so cavalry versus cavalry. Can we rush them? Okay, no. They have to be right next to each, right next to us, I would imagine, so let's just move one over. And then rush them. See what happens. Seems like it automatically chose for us. I'd like to see some... There we go. I had to press to the right. Can we only do that once? Wow, okay. Well, that works. Let's just keep moving people in. See what we can do. Wait. These guys aren't gonna have a good time if, uh, if they only send down a couple of people at a time. We'll pick them off. Move, but stay just out of their range. I don't know if there's an advantage to attacking from the grass. I would imagine that there is. Wait there. Move and come up a little bit. It's this little uh, little addition of animated graphics that really helps players like me with with the concept of this kind of game on a video game console. Uh, like I've said in in you know Nobunaga's Ambition, I believe, and also in Lamp Roar, 
I would totally play a tabletop game, and it doesn't have to have art or anything like that specifically for me to enjoy it, but on a video game, unless you get the user interface just right, you have to distract someone with music and graphics. It's just part of the medium. And so having little animated characters to make it just a little bit more like, you know, Fire Emblem or, uh, you know, in the future from, from this, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. You know, those kind of games, it, at least you have those... Oh, he killed me. At least you have those, you know, graphics and music to kind of uh, fall back on. Wow. Their, uh, their cavalry's getting pretty lucky. Well, crap! Come on down. Holy crap! Okay, so those must be riflemen. Ouch! Man, I didn't know you could fire that far. If I did, I'd have tried to line something up. We might still be okay. Alright, you guys. If you're not gonna move, just... Hurry up and decide. Okay. So let's see, we have riflemen. Let's take this guy up. Here. Have him fire across. Really? Alright. So, we will try to finish him off with our cavalry here. Rush. Take him out. Really? Man, they are just stocked. So, let's see what we can do here. We will take these archers. Same. Do we take them out? I don't know. Is this our daimyo? Not sure. Maybe they were just loaded up with uh, larger groups. Can't really tell. Oh crap, okay. Well, let's attack them from behind then. Did I? I just died trying to attack that one. Let's move up and over one and attack the archers. I'm not really sure what I'm seeing when I see damages. Perhaps that they weren't damaged at all. Rush. Maybe there's an element that I'm not getting when I try to attack. I'm thinking of it like risk, but perhaps there's more of a rock, paper, scissors element to it and I'm trying to attack a superior... Yeah, that must have been the, the leader. I'm trying to attack a superior unit with an inferior unit, much like Civilization trying to attack um, pikemen with horsemen or something like that. Or like Ages of Empires. What an odious enemy to beat me. I look like a cyclops. Well. Sir, what's the order? Well, we're done. <laughs> We're done here, Jeeves. <laughs> Hot B, you made uh, something impressive here. Um, you know, it's uh, a little bit more entertaining than the average strategy game. And if you're into strategy games, you might be even more into this one on the NES. So, Shinjin the Ruler. I'll see you guys next time.